Hi, I'm Mark Polk with RV Education 101. Today I want to discuss some very effective methods to help protect your RV water system when you're out camping. Excessive water pressure at the campground can damage your RV drinking hose and if it's too high it could damage the internal plumbing in your RV. The good news is Valterra offers affordable and practical solutions to prevent this from happening to you. A water pressure regulator like this by Valterra products protects the equipment and plumbing in your RV water system. Like almost every product you purchase, you get what you pay for. Today I want to show you a lineup of water pressure regulators designed to help you protect your RV. In some cases, water pressure at campgrounds can exceed the pressure that your RV plumbing components and equipment are rated to withstand. This problem can easily be avoided by purchasing and using a water regulator every time you go camping. Today we'll be discussing Valterra's complete line of standard and lead-free water regulators. An easy way to identify the regulator is by the color of the hose gripper. Standard water regulators have blue grippers and lead-free water regulators have orange grippers. We'll start with the standard water regulators. When using a water pressure regulator, always connect it where the water source originates, at the campground water supply. This way you regulate the water pressure before it even reaches the RV. I can't tell you how many times I see the regulator connected to the city water connector on the RV. When you do this, high campground water pressure can continue to build up until it ruptures the hose. When you arrive at your camping destination, the first step is to determine what kind of water pressure you're dealing with. Not every campground you stay at will have high water pressure. If the water source is already regulated, you may not want or need to use a water pressure regulator. Here's how you find out. When you are making your campground water connection, the first step is to connect this water pressure gauge to the campground water supply. This will let you know if you need to be concerned with regulating the water pressure going into the RV. New RVs are tested to withstand about 100 PSI of water pressure, but I don't recommend allowing 60 PSI or more to enter the RV. High water pressure can rupture your RV drinking hose and damage other components in your RV plumbing system. If you have an older RV, I would regulate the pressure below 50 PSI for added protection against any problems. If the gauge indicates high water pressure, you can simply turn the water supply off, disconnect the hose, and install a water regulator. By simply using a water regulator like this, you can protect your drinking hose and RV plumbing system from high campground water pressure. This regulator is factory set at 45 PSI. It has a screen washer to prevent debris from entering the water system. It connects to any standard water hose and campground water risers, and it has an easy to use hose gripper to make connections simple. If you prefer, you can purchase a water pressure regulator and gauge in one unit. This water regulator is preset to 45 PSI and it works exactly the same as the other water regulator we just looked at, but you have the added benefit of monitoring the regulated pressure. Remember, if you want to check the water pressure at the campground, you need to check it with the water pressure gauge before connecting the regulator. The gauge on this regulator shows the pressure after it goes through the regulator and lets you know the regulator is working properly. One complaint that some RV owners have with water regulators is they restrict or limit the flow of water too much, affecting showers or the time it takes to fill a pan of water or a coffee pot. Not to worry, Valterra has a solution to increase the flow of water while still regulating the pressure. Let's take a look. If you desire more flow, use Valterra's high flow RV water regulator. It keeps the outlet pressure regulated at 50 to 55 PSI while increasing the flow by 15 to 20 percent over standard water regulators. Now you can enjoy a shower while still protecting your hose and RV water system from any damage. Some states like California and Vermont have lead-free laws for drinking water fixtures. To conform to these laws, Valterra offers a complete line of lead-free water pressure regulators. When you see the orange gripper, you know it's lead-free. Let's take a closer look. 
Similar to the first line of water regulators we demonstrated, you have the standard lead-free regulator that regulates pressure at 40 to 50 PSI. Next, you have the lead-free water regulator and gauge combination. It regulates pressure at 40 to 50 PSI while allowing you to monitor the pressure going into the RV. Then we have the high flow water regulator. It regulates the pressure at 50 to 55 PSI while increasing the flow of water by 15 to 20 percent. Another choice in lead free high flow regulators is this all stainless steel model. Each of these lead free regulators fit all standard hose and campground water risers and they feature the easy to use hose gripper and screen washers to prevent debris from entering the water system. If you understand the importance of regulating the water pressure going into your RV but still have concerns about the water flow, Valterra offers another great product just for you. It's called the Adjustable Water Regulator. It protects your drinking hose and RV water system from high water pressure. It's lead free and with the turn of a flathead screwdriver you can adjust the pressure setting and maximize water flow. Settings above 60 PSI are not recommended. As you can see, Valterra offers affordable solutions for protecting your RV water system regardless of your specific needs. Always remember to use a safe drinking water hose too. Valterra is working hard to make recreation easy. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time and happy camping.